This is the world 200 million years ago. No cell phones, electricity, or even other humans. Would you be able to survive in this new world? Could you get yourself a pet dinosaur? Wait, dinosaurs are here? Okay, maybe this won't be so bad. This is what if, and here's what would happen if you were alive 200 million years ago. The world was pretty different during the late Triassic period. One of the most notable differences is this right here. This is Pangaea, a supercontinent containing different parts of today's world. There's Australia down south, North America in the northwest, and Eurasia in the east, all interconnected. It would take you a while, but in theory, you could walk from California to France. You won't see the Hollywood Walk of Fame or see the Eiffel Tower as they don't exist yet. What would you see? The first thing you'd notice as you're traveling across Pangaea are all the dinosaurs running about. You won't have to worry about dinosaurs such as the DeLong that weigh only 11 kilograms. They won't pose much of a threat. But watch out for the Melanorosaurus, who has a height of 12 meters and would find you to be a tasty snack. Scientists say that the late Triassic period was the dawn of the first dinosaurs. Dinosaurs of all sizes would be everywhere. You'd also see some other crazy creatures you've never seen before, and some that may remind you of animals you see today. This species, known as the Drapanosaurus, with its reptile-like skin and arched back, might be one of the first versions of birds to ever exist. The Triassic period was an incredibly important 50 million years of evolution. A time with not a lot of competition between species since, just prior to this period, 70% of Earth's creatures were wiped out in a mass extinction event. Many of the animals at the time were able to thrive and grow without having to be constantly wary of other predators. The further you travel inland into Pangaea, you'll notice the massive weather changes. The outer edges of the supercontinent may be full of lush forests and green grass, but the further you go in, that begins to change. Scientists suspect that much of Pangaea was a dry, desert wasteland. That's because the land mass was so large that the interior wouldn't have received the cooling effects of the ocean. Speaking of which, the ocean, known as Panthalassa, surrounded all of Pangaea and covered 70% of Earth's surface. This ocean was extremely deadly. It could easily produce super hurricanes and monsoons, and due to its massive size, they could gain enough momentum to hit Pangaea with potentially fatal weather. Pangaea was just beginning to separate 200 million years ago. If you were able to stick around a few million more years for the Jurassic period, that's when you'd truly see dinosaurs thrive. The T-Rex, Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus… What would happen if they were still alive today? Well, that sounds like a question for another What If.